everybody, Jem Schofield, and I'm here today with Matt. How are you, Matt? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. So today we're talking about all of this stuff, all of these toys, and the subject is what? External monitoring. External monitoring. We're going to take a look at all of the different options in real-world scenarios that we would see on set, mm -hmm. run and gun, all that kind of stuff. And this is really, I guess, what we would say be sort of a uh, maybe a talk show type setup in this scenario mm -hmm. or, or like a news interview right exactly so we've got a two shot right here this is pretty typical now if we're on a smaller production where we don't have a client and there's just a single operator and a small crew then we might see a setup like this so right. talk to me a little bit about what we have here so basically here we've just got a, a small uh, onboard monitor mm -hmm. uh, this one's a 5.6 inch you know we're basically just running out of the HDMI port on the camera and going into the monitor the one thing that does happen with that, you notice, is that the, the screen on the camera itself uh, is disengaged whenever you have an external monitor plugged in. Got it. But this is great because this will give you a larger image to focus off of, to, um, to compose off of, and it also, if you've got the camera low to the ground or up high, you can angle your monitor so you can see what you're shooting. Right, so if you don't have an articulating screen, right. it gives you a really great option there because you can do those low shots, you can go ahead and do those little jib shots and things like that, and so right. it gives you a great option for that. Mm -hmm. Now, behind you, we have a, a, a larger monitor, mm -hmm. and this is a pretty typical setup for a sort of operator and client-based situation. So tell us a little bit about what we're doing here in order to feed both of those monitors. So basically right now what we're doing is we have an HDMI splitter. Got it. And what this is doing is it's taking the HDMI out of the camera and then giving us two outputs from the splitter box. So uh, this is an HDMI splitter, uh, but you can also convert your HDMI output to an HDSDI signal if that's what your monitor takes. Okay, and then in that situation you could go to a monitor and you could you know, get things like scopes and things like exactly. that, production monitor. Correct. Um, also, we, we should note that if you're going out with HDMI, that you don't have to have a monitor that has an HDMI in. For mm -hmm. instance, this production monitor over here has a DVI input, so we have a DVI to HDMI converter. Exactly. So there's a lot of options that allow us to do this. But basically, the setup here is that we now have a monitor for the operator, mm -hmm. and we have a monitor for the producer, the client, the director. That might be actually off somewhere in the distance in the video village, right. and they would be sitting there and actually seeing the picture that way, correct? Yep. Yeah, cool. All right, so now uh, other situations that we might have is I have this monitor right here, and this is um, a 7-inch. This one happens to be by uh, Marshall. That one's a small HD monitor over there, the, the 5.6, but mm -hmm. this is a Marshall monitor. And just like the small HD, we can power this thing off of a battery. Exactly. We can also power all of these monitors off of, you know, AC and use them that way. But what's great about this is it's a slightly larger monitor and uh, maybe we'd still have this monitor here, but we would be going to something like this for right. the client, and you and I were talking earlier about a scenario like that, so when would we maybe have that kind of scenario? Right, this is perfect where if you don't want to throw this larger monitor up on a stand or be right. more stationary, this is nice since it's, it's battery powered, it's small, it's light, you can plug that in as your second and be mobile, um, and the director still has his own monitor to look off of. And we're just getting actually a feed from our wide camera right now. We've got a long HDMI cable, right. so we're getting the feed from that, and uh, we can see the picture there. Mm -hmm. So that's really cool. So the um, sort of last scenario, which is a run and gun situation, mm -hmm. and we actually have a rig here. This one is um, from Zacuto, and this is what we call an electronic viewfinder, right? Exactly. So what's the idea on this rig here? So basically, this is now setting up your DSLR to work a little bit more like, um, you know, a shoulder-mounted camera. Yeah. Um, so now it gives you, instead of having to either use the, the screen on the camera itself or a larger onboard monitor, it's now being used just as an eyepiece. Got it. Um, so it's great for operating. And this also battery-powered. Yep. And in this particular model from Zacuto, we can take their loop off, their Z Finder, and we can even use this as the monitor if we want, yep. or in the pop handheld kind of you know run and gun situation. Go ahead mm -hmm. and pop that up, and we can show how that works. And so we have this type of situation. This also offsets the external monitor from the camera, so you don't need to have a full offset for the camera itself. We can actually position that wherever we want, so that's really nice. And it doesn't have to be just used on a shoulder-mounted rig. No, the thing that's great about this is you could take this, this camera rig right here, throw it onto a tripod, throw it onto a dolly, so that your operator is operating off of the eyepiece 
What's nice about this is it also gives you an HDMI out. So there is loop through capability, yeah. which means that the operator can use this for composition and we can come out to another onboard monitor like this with the Marshall and the focus puller has a monitor for, of their own to work off of focus. Very cool. Yeah. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and drop that. And so I think at this point we're sort of ready mm -hmm. to bring the client in and we can bring the talent in. So I'm going to actually have Damien come in. Damien, uh, Damien's the client. How's it going, Damien? Good, Jim. How are you? I'm doing well. Hey, Matt. How are you? Great. How are you doing? Good. Very well. So, uh, you know, pretty typical. Damien's going to sit here at the larger monitor, mm -hmm. and, uh, and he's got the headphones on so he can hear what's going on. And we're going to go ahead and bring the talent in. I'm going to have uh, Eva come in, and, and Angus, I guess, will have you come in right now just to sit in for this. And I'm going to actually clear okay. so that you can actually operate here. And uh, before I do that, let's just have them sit down, and I can just check with the client what they think about that. So what do you think about that as far as our, our wide two-shot, Damien? You can pull it in a little tighter. Okay, let's take a look at that. See what that looks like. Okay, good. And then I'm just going to have you kill the logo at the top just a little bit. How's that? Very Damien? nice. Okay, good. So I'm going to clear out here. And we're going to roll. And you know, in a typical situation, we would have this as uh, this happens to be on a cine slider here from Kessler, where we have this two shot, and we can go in and do singles. Um, we can go in tighter, or we might have a second camera that's up on sticks, or two separate cameras that are on sticks on our talent that are in uh, tighter on these shots. So I'm going to clear, and let's go ahead and roll on that. Camera speeding. Good, so that looks good. So just for that rehearsal move, let's go ahead and go in tighter here and let's go ahead and do a single on Angus. So we'll just do a little move on that. And how's that look to you, Damien? Very good. Okay, that looks good, Matt. Let's go ahead and do a single on Eva and just see how that looks. Okay, headroom wise, how's that look? Very good. Okay, good. And so, uh, so I think that's pretty much what we've got, Matt. Yeah, I mean, I this is our, yeah, this is our situation, and we've covered pretty much every external monitoring situation that we would run into. Absolutely. And uh, thanks very much for watching.